Oh, hello! Hello, this is me, Theresa May, and I'm doing another one of those vlog things. There's a couple of things I wanted to talk to you about today. Now, the first one, of course, is that it's very important that we look after our porcupines, because the Liberal Democrats, they want to get rid of our porcupines, and it's very important that we keep them, because there are thousands of porcupine manufacturers around the country, and we depend on them for our pork, of course. You see, they make all these thousands of porcupines, and then some of them go on the lathe, and they get whizzed around and whittled down into a sausage and some of them get karate chopped and that's how you get your pork chops and of course thousands of jobs and it's very important it's very important that we keep our pork and of course without pork the navy wouldn't be able to go left because they don't have left and right on the sea like we do on land they have starboard for right and pork for left and without pork the navy imagine a ship you want to turn left and they wouldn't be able to say pork because the Liberal Democrats, they'd have to go starboard all the way around and then and then right like that. And that's no good for anyone, is it? So don't don't let the Liberal Democrats in and pr protect our porcupines. It's the nanny states is what it is. They're worried that, you know, just because people tend to get porcupines and ram them into their faces or get completely covered in spines and need to have those quills pulled out with pliers. I mean, I've done it hundreds of times myself. But, you know, it's worth it. It's worth it for sausages. Lovely sausages. I'm trying to always make sure that we discuss sausage issues because I think sausages are the most important issue facing the country today. Now, also, I wanted to talk about beaks because the, the Labour Party, they don't want you to have beaks. And an Englishman's home is his castle made of beaks, as the saying goes. And everybody has got something made of beaks in their home. You know, whether your shed is made of chaffinch bills or your bathroom is made of toucan's beaks. You know, everybody's got something. And uh, personally, of course, I've got my throne in the basement. It's made with the beaks of the colossal squid. Massive, black, clacking beaks. Like a parrot's beak, but huge and designed to rend and tear the flesh of the leviathans of the abyss. Uh, wonderful. I've made into a massive throne. I sit upon them in my basement in the dark, pondering their tentacly power. Wonderful things. Anyway, but of course, Jeremy Corbyn and his Trotskyite clique, they think they're terribly bourgeois, and they don't want you to have beaks. They don't want you to take hummingbirds and pull off their faces and meld them into toilet seats and things. But it's very important that we're allowed to do that. You tell them what you think on election day. You say, you Trotskys, we don't want you, we want beaks. Yes, and now also another thing that's happening at the moment is that everybody's saying to me, look, Teresa, they say, Teresa, you must, you must stop that nasty Tronald Dump from coming over to the country because he's been terribly mean to London and terribly mean to the mayor. And I say, well, do you know what? The thing is, they, they're treating him as if he's a person. Uh, it's a bit of a shame because what they haven't realised is actually he's not a person at all. He's just a bag, a bag full of centipedes with a face drawn on. I don't know quite who's done it. I think it might have been Vladimir Putin. But anyway, it's a bag of centipedes with this face. It's not even very well drawn on this face. It's probably done by a child. And they're all saying, they're calling it Tronald Dump and treating it like the president. And, and of course, it's just doing what a bag full of centipedes would naturally do. You know, they're venomous hunters and it's lashing out and trying to consume and destroy everything um, because that's what centipedes are. And at some point, everybody will realise and go, oh, look, it was a bag of centipedes all along. Oh, what a brilliant joke. And we'll all laugh. Oh, um, but until then, please, please just stop not bothering me about telling him he can't come here because there's no point speaking to him. He's not a he at all, isn't it? It's just a bag of centipedes. I'll see you soon. I'll see you very soon. Mwah, 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 mwah.